So it turns out that Jack Dorsey, Twitter CEO, has resigned from his position as CEO of Twitter. And uh, and this is his email to his staff, you know, long email. I don't really want to read this whole thing. But I'll just read the top part. After almost 16 years of having a role in our company, from co-founder to CEO to chair to executive chair to interim CEO to CEO, I decided it's finally time for me to leave. Why? There's a, there's a lot of talk about the importance of a company being founder-led. Ultimately, I believe that that's severely limiting and a single point of failure. I've worked hard to ensure this company can break away from its founding and founders. There are three reasons. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, there's a new CEO. I'm not, I'm not going to try to even pronounce his name, but I'm going to butcher it. So that's the new CEO right there. You, I'm sure you can read it yourself if you want. So, And I, this is my speculation, my theory on this. I think Jack Dorsey was forced out of Twitter because he was one of the few people, you know, like insisting on some sort of freedom of speech on Twitter, like a tiny bit. Because as soon as um, Jack Dorsey resigned, you immediately get... This new, um, this new policy from Twitter, from the new CEO. Twitter banned sharing images or video of private individuals without their consent. Just one day after former CTO Paro Elalala was named CEO. I can't, I'm not even trying to butcher his name. Now, I actually, this is my tweet here in the bottom. It's a, it, this is, this is the new policy here. I say... Twitter, Twitter needs to explain this further because it's likely to be used by Twitter to pick and choose who, who they ban and claim they violated this new policy of theirs. And I also forgot to add that shit libs will defend us and cheer it and claim terms of service. Nothing can do about it. Haha, you got banned. That's what they will do instead of, the, instead of attacking this obvious censorship that's about to happen. Anyway, Ben, ben Norton tweeted this out. The new CEO of Twitter is totally on board with censorship in order to fight so-called misinformation and curate the public conversation. That's why he's put in a CEO, because he, he's totally on board with censorship and, and to fight misinformation and curate the public conversation. In other words, manipulate the public conversation to make sure that it, that it beneficial to Twitter and the Democratic Party, because big tech is, at this point, an arm of the Democratic Party. This is what the new CEO said. Our role is not to be bound by the First Amendment, our, but our only role is to serve a healthy public conversation. Healthy public conversation. What does that mean? Does that mean censoring people that, that don't, don't follow the establishment line and conventional wisdom? Is that what you mean? Yes, that's what they mean. And our moves are reflective of things that we believe will lead to healthier public conversation. Like, who are you to decide what's healthy and what isn't healthy? Who is Twitter? You know, Twitter is just a com it's just basically, you're supposed to be a forum. You're not supposed to be censoring people. And making and, and our role is to serve a healthy public conversation, whatever that means. My ass. Okay, this is outrageous. Now we're going to see a bunch of most likely independent journalists get banned because they're, they're according to their new policy, Media and private individual. You cannot share media of private individuals without permission of the person depicted. What does that mean? You know, don't reporters usually take pictures or videos of certain things uh, and report what's going on and then send it and then upload it to Twitter? How are you supposed to get permission of every single person that's there? You can't. It's impossible. So the whole point of this is just ban certain in private, not private, uh, independent media that they don't like, either on the left or on the right. So that's what really what this is about. This needs to be called out, and I hope more people does it because or else then Twitter's gonna get much worse, much much worse. And there's not much, and something needs to be done. It needs to be called out at the very least. Needs to be called out. Well, that's that's it for this video today. I wasn't planning on making a video, but after seeing this, I had to talk about it real quick. Well, until the next video, I bid you adieu.